What's up, y'all? This is Brave, and I'm back for another review of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. This is season 11, episode 13, I believe. And before we even get started, let me just talk about some things from last week because I did not drop a review because for some reason I wasn't able to get full access to the episode. So I finally got around to watching the whole thing. And I just want to talk about two things. Um, that argument between Sierra and Diamond was so choppy that I was hella confused. Am I the only one who was just like, how is this conversation going? Because we started off talking about, you know, how they knew each other in the past. Then you had Diamond talking about how Sierra, she was married to the guy that she lost her virginity to. Like, I was so confused as to where that conversation was going. I really wish that they would not have chopped up, you know, that scene so much. Because I was just confused. I'm just like, what is happening right now? Um, Of course, we have to talk about Erica Mena. So Erica Mena, she has actually gotten fired at this point from the show. If y'all know me, y'all know I don't like Erica Mena and I also don't like Spice. I personally feel like both of them were wrong for all the things that they were saying. And at the end of the day, both of them could have gotten let go from the show, honestly, because y'all already know, I feel like Spice has been dragging it this entire season and Erica Mena what she said was absolutely out of line. You know what I'm saying? You don't call a black woman a monkey. And if I'm going to be completely honest with y'all, that's not even the statement that, you know, had me in an uproar. It's the fact that Erica told that woman, you should have died on the table multiple times. Like, are you crazy? Like, Spice actually almost died and for you to tell her that she should have died just because she made a statement about your child whoa that's that's kind of heavy and I absolutely understand this idea that kids are off limits but now I'm just starting to question like what do the cast know about Erica's child because Spice is not the first person to say something about Erica's child Scrappy said something as well. So I'm just like, what is going on with her oldest child? Like, do y'all know in the comments? Drop that down. But nonetheless, Erica, a hit dog will holler. You definitely felt some type of way because there's some truth into what Spice said. You know what I'm saying? Like, your son probably does feel disconnected, you know, by you. Because you are Erica Mena. You've been running around for the past, what, 15 years on different reality shows and doing this and doing that, dating whatever man that you want to, and not exactly being an involved parent. Yeah, I can definitely see how there can be some disconnect there. Because let's be honest, ever since Erica, you know, has even gotten with Safari, she hardly ever mentioned her oldest son, ever. She act like the only two kids that she got is the one is the ones with a safari. So do I think that, you know, Erica should have gotten fired? If that's what Love and Hip Hop wants to do, go ahead and fire her. But don't try to pull, you know, that same stunt that y'all did, like with basketball wives, where they let Evelyn go for a year and then she came right back. Let's not do that. If we all fire Erica Mena. We're going to fire her completely and we should not see her again. And like I said, I still think that Spice, she could have went as well because, oh God, Spice is very draining. And what she said to Erica, I can see how it could trigger Erica. Because you should have never brought up the kids talking about how your son loves you. However, Erica's don't like her. That was crazy to me now that I think about it. Spice, you got your nerve talking about how much your son love you, but you don't even want to spend time with him. You sent your children off to Jamaica, so that way your mama and whoever else that's related to you can go raise your kids, because you're not doing it. Hell, honestly, you and Erica are the same damn person. But you know what? Let's just jump into the current episode. Now, y'all, we got to start off talking about 
Bambi. That outfit that she had on was terrible. I'm sorry. So let me even get to what why we here. Bambi is releasing a single called Do Right By Me, right? Now, according to her, when she first met Scrappy, she was an artist, and now she's back to being an artist. Um, I'm going to be honest. She can hang it up. She needs to go, you know, sell some bundles, sell some makeup, do something else. But the rapping? No. Let's not do this. Um, uh, Bambi, first of all, how old are you at this point? You like 40. Why are we trying to start a rap career? We really don't need to do this. And secondly, she's just not good. <laughs> like, nothing that she said, her cadence wasn't good. Uh, you know what? Maybe I need to hear something else. Maybe I need to hear another song. It just wasn't good. But y'all, let's go ahead and move on. Because for some reason, the most boring couples decided to meet up and do something. We have Mandeces and Yandy meeting up with Rashida and Kirk. So the whole point of this meetup was so Kirk could invite them to Rashida's birthday party. They throw in a little pajama jammy jam or whatever. But we got to talk about the guest list because who does Rashida want at her party? You want Erica there or do you want Spice? Because now the whole cast has heard about what went down between Erica and Spice. And Rashida wants Spice there. And according to her, you know, she heard that uh, Erica called her a black monkey. Now, she didn't call her a black one. She called her a blue one. But nonetheless, she still called her a monkey. And it was completely out of line. And everyone who was having this conversation, they feel like, Erica is out of line for this. Is that how she feels about all black people? And how do you even go to that mentally when you're getting into an argument with somebody? Because honestly, when I think about like getting into an argument with somebody and when I play like this idea of me being on a show in my head, I think I'm going to talk about the person, maybe like them being a hoe, like you yeah, it's just certain things that we're so used to these people throwing out there, but not racial slurs like this. Um, also, I didn't even realize until I think it was Yandy said it, that when Erica flipped that table, it went right into Spice's stomach. Now, in that moment, I definitely felt bad for Spice because y'all know her body is still practically healing. You know what I'm saying? So that must have hurt. All right. Actually, let's just hop on over to Erica, y'all. So, we actually see her. She's on set of, I think, a TV show that she's doing. And I'm just like, Erica, why didn't you give us this earlier in the season? Because we are now 13 episodes in. And I know that you've been working consistently because you always got something coming out on Tubi. So, I wish that we would have gotten to see you work instead of only seeing you whine and cry about Safari. And like I said, y'all already know I don't like Erica. But at the end of the day, we have not seen Erica do anything on this show besides argue with people. And most of the time is arguing with people about Safari, arguing with Safari, or she's whining and crying about how she has to take care of these kids. And I'm just like, girl, what else is going on? All right, so let's just get right on to this party, right? So one thing I want to point out is the fact that Kirk had me cracking up when he was like, oh, y'all trying to have a pillow fight. Well, we should have invited one more person so we all could have, like, you know, hit them with the pillows. And he was making reference to Erica because of what she said about Spice. And I was kind of laughing at that. He's like, you know, I'm just joking. So next thing you know, um, Chaotic, he ends up showing up. Y'all, why did Chaotic say he just had surgery? And I'm just like, sir, you could have missed this scene. You really could have missed coming to this party, but I get it. You probably need the money. So a check is a check. You won't come and show up and film just so that you can get paid. I get it. So Sierra, she actually shows up or whatever. And she basically tells them how, you know, it was her birthday the day before. And nobody said happy birthday to her. Uh, I think she was talking like, yeah, D, Mindy, Season Spice or whatever. 
And Yeti and Benicis are like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. Happy birthday. However, Spice's response is, oh, I don't really, we don't like the temperature with you. And I'm just like, wait a second. There hasn't been any issues between Sierra and Spice previously. So I'm not really liking this energy because I feel like Spice is treating um, Sierra differently just because she's friends with Erica. All right, so Rashida and Kirk has now come into the situation. And Sierra, she picks up on the fact that Sierra, that Spice is tripping. So she's like, you know, I feel like she treated me like this because of her issue with Erica. And I talked to Erica and like I told her, you know, basically both of them was wrong. Both of them were wrong for going back and forth, hitting below the belt. And I agree. I absolutely agree with Sierra. So now you have Spice. She wants to express herself. And I'm like, Spice, we heard enough of you. But nonetheless, she keeps going. <laughs> She's like, well, no, let me tell you what happened. Because, you know, Sierra's like, well, you mentioned about how her son don't like her. And she's like, yeah, I said that her son doesn't like her or whatever. But she just kind of brushed past it and was like, yeah, but Erica is mad because um, she's mad at me and I'm Marla Negra and Safari. And I'm just like, OK, yes, we go take into account that Erica has been angry about Safari and all the antics and all of that. However, in that moment. I think that she was really pissed off that you told her that her son didn't like her. Like, straight up. Like, come on now, Spice. You're really trying to brush past the fact that you told that girl that her son didn't like her and how you rubbed it in her face that your son loves you. Ma'am, that's how that went. And I will respect Sierra for saying, like, you know what? And I think that... You know, my friend was wrong for saying that you should have died because that should have never came out of Erica's mouth. So at this point, Spice is like, she called me a black monkey again. Maybe I didn't hear that part, but I thought she called her a blue one. Either way, she called her a monkey and it's trifling. So um, Sierra is like taken aback. Like you can clearly tell that she did not hear anything about no monkey comment. So let's go ahead and move on from there, y'all, because Carly Red actually shows up. Now, I don't know why Carly showed up because Rashida ain't really a friend like that girl, but okay. So she shows up, she gives Rashida a gift in her confessional. She's like, listen, I love Spice, but I got to love her from afar. I'm not about to keep begging and pleading to be your friend. And I said, you know what? That's the best thing that you can do for yourself, Carly, because for some reason, Spice want you to grovel at her feet. You know what I'm saying? Begging and pleading to be her friend just so that she can step all over you. Because that is what has been happening all at the top of this season. So I'm glad that Carly says she ain't doing it no more. So we actually see the ladies, you know, get together because they're about to take a picture. So it's Rashida, Sierra, um... Carly and then Yandy she's standing to the side next to Spice she's like oh you're not gonna go over and take a picture and Spice just kind of looked at her like absolutely not no so she's like okay well I'm about to so Yandy she runs over she hops in the group photo or whatever and Spice is over there in her own little bubble taking selfies because she doesn't want to deal with Carly and Carly's drama. And I'm like, Carly's not even on no drama. What are we talking about here? Like, as much as we have complained about Carly Red over the years and how she's messy, she's this, that, another, Carly kind of been chill this entire season. I'm just saying. All right, so Kirk hops on the mic, you know what I'm saying, telling his wife happy birthday. And he also lets everybody know that he's going to take the crew on a trip to the Bahamas, a.k.a. this is a cash trip. All right, so since Kirk has made this announcement, um, him and Rashida talk and they're like, OK, I want Scrappy there as well as Bambi. That could be an issue. Because we don't want no drama. So they actually call Bambi on the spot, FaceTime her or whatever, and tell her that, you know, everybody's going to the Bahamas. We don't want to make it seem like, you know, we tried to set you with Scrappy up. 
so that y'all can talk or do whatever. And one thing that I do respect about Bambi in this moment is that she's like, you know what? It's for Rashida's birthday. That's what we're going to be going for. AKA, it shouldn't be no drama between her and Scrappy. Fingers crossed we can get no drama between those two. All right, y'all. So now we are headed to the Bahamas. I'm not about to go into who rode with who and all of that foolishness. Let's just get there. So at some point you had one group, they have already arrived to the house and we learned that not everybody is staying there. Some people will be staying at um, a hotel down the street. So now we have um, Shakira giving her version of the story, okay? She gives the backstory of how Spice brushed Erica off after she got the key to the city and how things, you know, went a little left once they got to the meetup or whatever. But here's the problem. Before Shekinah can go into what happened between the two women who were meeting up, Spice jumps in and is like, well, she got mad because, let me not do the accent. She got mad because I um, said that her son doesn't like her and blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing, Spice. You keep saying that as if that's not something that's messed up to say to somebody. Like, you are saying that as if you just told her, like, girl, only thing I told her was that her shoes was untied. Like, that's how she tries to play it out to make it seem like it was just such a simple statement that she said. Spice, you were still loud and wrong. So now she want to sit up here and blame Shekinah for everything. And I'm like, Shekinah is not to blame for this. Like, honestly, this was probably the one time when I actually liked Shekinah. You know what I'm saying? She giving us the play-by-play of what went down. You know what I'm saying? The problem is that Spice just has to be right. And she's very woe is me. So now she wants everybody on her side. So now we jump on over to the car ride with, who is it? Sierra, Bambi, Amy, and Carly Red, right? And basically... Bambi explains that when she talked to Erica, Erica was emotional and upset, but she didn't go into detail about what actually happened between her and Spice. So everybody in the car is like, well, you know, we heard she said something about uh, calling Spice a monkey. And Sierra was like, you know what? I don't believe that my friends, you know, she would say something like that. Like she has black kids. And I get it because Sierra and Bambi are supposed to be really close with Erica like tight like glue right but you would never think that your friend would say something crazy like that especially about another black woman when y'all black like her homegirls are black how is she saying something crazy like this and I mean Bambi she felt the same way so of course they want to call Erica at some point get to the bottom of it but like Sierra said both of these women were in the wrong for sure so now let's jump back over to the other group because Kirk is going on about how, you know, he doesn't respect the fact that she called, you know, Spice a black monkey because it's like that how you feel about all of us. Now, for some reason, Chaotic is interpreting this as if Erica has called all of them some black monkeys. And I'm just like, that's not OK. Yikes. <laughs> Chaotic is a little slow. <laughs> But, like, he was making it seem like, she said that about us? <laughs> like, that's not funny. But it's just the chaotic is very funny. All right, so now we have Sierra and Bambi. They have a conversation, basically, about how they're going to try to maneuver this little vacation, right? So, they talk about how... You know, they talk to Erica, but they clearly need to have another conversation with her because the whole monkey thing needs to be addressed. And Sierra, she goes further into saying why she felt like um, Erica was probably triggered because the things that Spice said about Erica's son, she was absolutely out of line for. And Erica flip the table <laughs> and like Sierra says you know you don't ever want to think that your friend would do those types of things and say crazy stuff but it's like girl Erica has a history of going you know 
off the rails and saying some really, really messed up things. Because if we really want to talk about it, Erica has been saying crazy things to people for a very long time. Look at all the time she has bucked up against men because there's been multiple men that she has addressed on, you know, different shows or whatever. And as a man, you can't say nothing back to Erica because men can't argue with women. But let's not forget how crazy she was talking to who was that? Stevie J, Rich Dollars. Like, when she used to go in on those guys, she used to be ruthless. So, Erica definitely has a way of going, you know, way below the belt. And this is another case of her doing that. But y'all, let's slide on over to this group dinner, right? So, everybody is getting there. You know, the rest of the people who weren't there earlier, they're starting to trickle on in. We saw Rini Rucci or whatever. Here's the thing. We got to talk about Bambi's outfit real quick. Bambi, who was you wearing that for, girl? Because most of the men on this trip are taken. The only guy who's available is Chaotic. And Scrappy ain't even here for you to stunt on him. So, what we waste this outfit for, girl? So, we did get to see Rennie Rucci have a conversation with Spice. And it was actually good to see them talk because we ain't seen Rennie really be with the group or at least some of the main characters. You know what I'm saying? But they talk about music and how Rennie, you know, she's just now getting back to doing music. You know, she said that she had to get into the right headspace. And Spice is like, oh, yeah, you got to be in the right headspace, you know to really do music or whatever. And here comes Shekinah chiming in, talking about, yeah, girl, we can all go to anger management. What are you talking about? Please stop. So uh, Spice is like, no, she needs like healing because I guess Spice actually knows the fact that, you know, Rennie lost her mom and maybe Shekinah doesn't know that. I don't know. But sometimes I just be wanting Shekinah to just go away and shut up. Nonetheless, let's get to Yandy stirring up the mess because Yandy ends up throwing a question out to Bambi if she talked to Erica. And Bambi, you know, now she's been put on the spot. She's just like, oh, you know, I've talked to her briefly, but, you know, we haven't really had like any, you know, deep conversations because she's been really busy with work. So now Yandy goes further and she's like, well, you know, I just want to know what y'all talked about when it came to the situation with her and Spice pretty much and Bambi's like you know we didn't really go into that but I have heard that she said some things that were completely out of line we just haven't talked about that yet okay fine that should be the end of this right it's not because here goes Spice under her breath talking about so oh you haven't talked to your best friend I said see now you're over here trying to get some stuff started between you and Bambi because at the end of the day Bambi don't owe you nothing Bambi is cordial with you she ain't really your homegirl like that and on top of that um she gave y'all an answer she said she ain't talked to the girl you know in in depth about what went down between Spice and Erica okay let's just let that be and move on what else y'all got going on oh but no because Spice ends up questioning Bambi and Sierra as to why are they so fake? Because she feels like they're being fake with her in this moment because she knows that they are Erica's friends and she feels like, I guess, they're supposed to give her an explanation as to why Erica is doing whatever she's doing. First of all, your issue is with Erica. These two ain't got nothing to do with that, honestly. Now, at this point, Bambi is like, girl, who is you talking to? Because ain't no way you talking to us. So, at one point, they're just going, like, back and forth or whatever. And then you hear Spice say, I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to Sierra. And I'm just like, either way, Spice, to me, you sound crazy because you're coming at these girls for what? Like, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to apologize? on behalf of Erica or something, I'm not really sure at this point. All I know is that it makes no sense to me. So we end up seeing Sierra try to explain how, you know, she told Erica 
that what she did was wrong or whatever. And then she goes on to talk about how, you know, all of this stuff got started because of Safari. Sort of, kind of. It sort of, kind of got started because of Safari. However, I think that Safari just told his side of things. I don't think that he told, you know, Spice to go at Erica the way she did and tell her about how her son don't love her. Like, I don't think he put the battery in her back that far. I really don't. I think that he was just trying to clear his name because he felt like, you know what, me and Spice are cool, and Erica has been saying all these things. That's not true about me. I don't think it was intentionally for him to put a battery in Spice back to then go attack Erica. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. But y'all, some type of way. The girls are still arguing. I'm just like, Rashida or Kirk, can one of y'all yell cut? Can one of y'all tell them, all right, we didn't sign up for this. This is not why we came to the Bahamas. Where is that speech at? Because these two are going back and forth, Bambi and um, Spice. Next thing you know, Spice jumps up as if we about to like have a fight or something. We too old for this. <laughs> like, in my mind, I'm sorry. Everybody is close to 40 or 40 plus. Why are we doing all this? Like, y'all gonna give yourselves high blood pressure. Take it down a couple of notches. Like I said, Spice, I don't know what you're expecting out of Bambi. But girl, move on. Because it ain't her job to grovel at your feet the same way you had Carly doing. That ain't about to happen. Just because her friend called you a racial slur it's just not gonna happen because at the end of the day her friend said it and not her so i'm gonna need you to relax y'all i personally feel like spice can go from this show because i ain't been feeling her since who a long time so yeah let me know what y'all thought about this episode y'all on bambi side or are y'all on spice side Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, y'all, and I will talk to you in my next review. Bye, guys.